Tonight I had uh, a conversation with some players and how I'm not training players for Saturday. Uh, what I mean by that is I don't care if they perform what I am training them to do for this weekend's game. I look at some, at some of the stuff that I do that I want them to be comfortable with when they get to 18. Even though they're 10, I can see down the line. I can see, okay, what do I want players to be able to do when they're 13, when they're 14, when they're 15? I really get, uh, I really have an advantage of just worrying about what what the player is going to look like years from now. Not necessarily um, a certain tactical situation that I want them to be able to solve on Saturday. Part of that with players as well is train for the team that you want to be on. Um, so let's say that you are uh, 11 years old, right? And you want to play and it's your goal to play varsity as a freshman or it's your goal to make it a development academy team or it's your goal to play ECNL or you're on development academy and it's your goal to play college. Train for the team that you want to be on not the not necessarily the team that you're currently on. Where do you want to be in two years? Where do you want to be in five years? You know where do you want to be in ten years for some players? Train for that team. Not necessarily, again, for Saturday. For parents as well, I'll say, you know, stop investing so much in Saturdays, meaning, you know, have the ability to look down the line. I always find it funny when you're at a, you're at a park and Side by side, there's like a U16 game going on, and then there's a U9 game going on. And usually, the parents at the U9 game are, is the louder game, you know, from the sideline point of view. So try to keep that in perspective as well. And it's also always fun to watch parents that are going through it with the second child versus parents going through with their first child. It's, you know. You always look back and you're like, oh, that wasn't that big of a deal. Or, you know, you're much more calm throughout the whole process. And, and for coaches, <clears throat> for coaches regarding, you know, focusing on Saturday and training for Saturday, the better all around, the better players that you have, the better team you're going to have. Um, I mean, for instance, you know, you go around and, and watch some of the best clubs in the nation. So much, so much more emphasis is on technical ability, and then they can they can implement or install tactics in pregame. They don't need to necessarily be working on you know formation and game planning before the game. Uh, the, I think that I. I one of my underlying philosophies is you cannot have advanced tactics within your team if you don't have players with advanced technique. And and if you know, and if ninety percent of your sessions are geared towards either you know just possession or. Um, tactics team tactics I think you're doing some players a, a real de disservice in my in my opinion and that's just the way that my coaching development has brought me up mm -hmm.